The Croatian capital city of Zagreb has hit the news for its allegedly sexist posters, warning women against excessive alcohol consumption. There are a few reasons I love Croatia. This is a country unashamed of being patriotic and standing by their values. It's a nation that is willing to defend its borders, which is awesome, and it's a place where people say it like it is. That's why I wasn't surprised to learn about a new drink awareness campaign in the capital city of Zagreb that warns girls about the dangers of drinking in excess. The posters were commissioned by the city of Zagreb and they warn girls that consuming excessive quantities of alcohol results in having reckless sexual intercourse with strangers. Not wrong. Well, it's more than not wrong, it's totally true, and it's an issue that girls should be aware of. The posters were even designed by students showing that this concern is very real. Drinking in excess results in poor decision making and particularly puts girls at risk. Men under the influence of alcohol might do stupid things. They might have unprotected sex, but they can walk away at the end of it and pretend nothing ever happened. Women under the influence of alcohol might be too willing to go along with some of those stupid things that the men are doing. Some women might even fall victim to predators looking to take advantage of young girls who've had a little too much to drink, or specifically young girls who are experiencing alcohol for the first time. And that is exactly why these posters are so important. They were targeted specifically at female secondary school students. And of course, the outrage has escaped Croatia and hit the Western press because somehow pointing out that excessive drinking leads to reckless sexual intercourse with strangers is sexist. Somehow pointing out that alcohol consumption affects menstrual cycles is also sexist. I mean, this is basic stuff. Women are more affected by excessive alcohol use. Women become intoxicated with smaller quantities of alcohol and alcohol prolongs menstrual disorders, cramping, and even causes irregularity in ovulation. These are facts, 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 facts. And beyond the health risk, there are safety issues. Young girls having reckless sex with strangers are at greater risk than young men. Not only do they risk becoming pregnant to a man they don't know, they risk being raped, attacked, or even worse. This, again, is a fact, but it's a fact that some people would rather disregard. Women's safety doesn't matter if it means feelings aren't being hurt. There's been claims via Twitter that the posters are sexist and shameful. And even the gender equality ombudswoman Vishna Lubicic spoke out claiming that the posters degraded women. Lubicic said, Such a sex-based portrayal of women is offensive and degrading and not in keeping with the principles of equality of women and men or with national and international documents that define sexism and sexual stereotypes as one of the serious obstacles to achieving full gender equality. Sorry, Vishna, this isn't a stereotype, it's a fact. Women are more vulnerable than men when under the influence of alcohol. I mean, what is wrong with you? Don't you even care the slightest bit about women's safety? Vishna Lubicic and anyone who is offended by this poster are everything that is wrong with the gender equality movement. We have a woman who was appointed the Ombudswoman for Gender Equality by the Croatian parliament, standing up claiming that a simple statement of fact is sexist. I mean, I, for one, am glad to see these posters. I'm glad that girls are being given important information that helps them make informed decisions that affect their safety. And I'm glad to see that the city of Zagreb will be keeping the posters up. That's awesome. But here's what I don't understand. There seems to be a disconnect in Croatia. The city has said that they'll keep the posters, and that's good. The posters themselves were designed by local young people who understand that it is unsafe for women to drink in excess. But somehow the Croatian Parliament's Gender Equality Act adopted in 2008 has resulted in ideologues like Vishna Lubicic and others taking moral grandstands that put women in danger. I don't think that that is right at all. And I think it's time that this legislation was looked at and the entire body that Lubicic works for should be reviewed to see if it's really fit for purpose. The people understand the problem, but the ideologues and the government pencil pushers care more about their own agenda. Please sign up to keep up to date with my new Defend Croatia series. Go to defendcroatia.com.